I asked me and Brandy about coaching because they are involved in coaching. You're very involved in, in leadership. I, I will say with great pride, uh, my daughter is one of the many young women who've gone through the Julie Foudy Leadership Academy, and it is... It is really awesome for, for the young women because the sports part of it is truly part of it. Can you just talk about the leadership that you see mm. in the young women who come through your camp now uh, many, many summers, over a decade of doing it? Well, the, the neat thing is the, the genesis of the Leadership Academy is these women right here and watching my national team teammates because I grew up thinking leadership was a very a narrow definition that you had to be in a position of power, you had to be a president, you had to be a CEO, you had to be a celebrity or someone famous uh, or loud or a general sitting on top of a horse. And then I got around these amazing women and I'm watching them. And mind you, we played together for two decades. So we got to know each other really well, as you can see. And I'm watching them lead in so many different ways. For example, our superstar, Mia Hamm, who carried the responsibility and sometimes the burden of having to do every photo shoot, every interview, everyone wants to talk to her, everyone wants her signature, right? Mia's a very shy person who didn't want to go on the stage and accepted a speech. She would thank everyone, including the postman and the parking lot attendant and the massage therapist, right? And all her teammates before she would take credit for anything. And I'm watching the way she led, you know, and I'm watching the way Brandy, who has this contagious energy and positivity and fun that's so infectious, you want to be around it. And I'm watching, uh, you know, a Joy Fawcett who didn't speak for the first 10 years on the national team. <laughs> and we thought, what's wrong with Joy? <laughs> Something's wrong with her. But then we quickly realized when jo Joy spoke, even though there was only a few words to it, you were like, shut up, Joy is talking. <laughs> and Joy had this wisdom that would come out. Um, and so I'm watching all these different things and quickly realizing like the beauty of our team and why it worked is we had all these different types of leaders. There, w there wasn't always the one who was in you know, the loudy fowdies or the rowdy fowdies. It was a real combination of cerebral and personal and emotional and loud and all of it. And it worked. And I think that's the thing that I want to pass on to, to young people. And we in particular do it for young girls because I think a lot of young kids think I have to be the leader in terms of a person in a position of power. And leadership isn't positional, it's personal. Um, and that's I learned from these guys. <laughs>